Something that a lot of you may not know is there is actually no defined definition for the word natural when it comes to personal care products and cosmetics. So the FDA is actually who regulates all cosmetics and they've never issued a legal definition for the word natural. Now keep in mind that natural and organic aren't the same thing. Just because something's organic, that doesn't make it natural and just because something is you know, marketed as natural, that doesn't make it organic. I often see there being confusion with that, so I wanted to clear that up. So there are already lots of regulations put in for organic products, so that is not what I'm gonna be talking about today. What I wanna talk about is the term natural. There has been a huge rise in the want for natural cosmetics and personal care products. Somewhere along the lines, people have decided that chemicals are bad for you and they want everything to be natural. But what if I told you that everything is a chemical, even water? And not only that, but it's important to note that just because a substance is natural, that doesn't make it safer for you. There are so many substances found in nature that are toxic for you and the same goes for synthetic as well. There are in fact synthetic things that are bad for you as well, just like how there are things found in nature that are bad for you. But just how there are things in nature that are good for you, there are synthetic substances that are also good for you. Another thing I wanna talk about is the quote, if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it or put it on your skin. I have seen this quote said, written, I've seen it everywhere. And this, this is so not true. So, First of all, I'm horrible at pronouncing words, so there are tons and tons of words out there that I can't pronounce, that you can probably pronounce. N another thing to note is that, well, first off, just because you can't pronounce it, that doesn't make it bad for you. That's just, it's totally not right. So for example, chamomile extract. I think we all can agree that it's completely safe for you. Unless you obviously have a allergy to chamomile, then of course stay away from it. But overall, it's completely safe. But manufacturers of cosmetics can't just put chamomile extract on their ingredient list. They have to actually put the INCI name, which is the uh, scientific name for it. And this is the scientific name for chamomile extract. And I don't know about you, but I have a hard time pronouncing that R word and that M word. I could not pronounce it correctly. So if we're going by that rule, then chamomile extract is bad for you. So as you can see, this, um, this quote is not accurate whatsoever. Another example, poison ivy. I think we all can agree that most English speaking people can pronounce this word. It's toxic, it's poisonous. So that th doesn't make it safe just because I can read the word. No, it doesn't. So again, that's just another fear mongering based quote that has been, I don't know, pushed around the natural community, I guess. And it's not accurate whatsoever. You should not determine the safety of ingredients by if you can pronounce it or not. There are so many blogs out there talking about toxic ingredients found in cosmetics and why they're bad for you, but these really aren't reputable sources at all. Yes, there are ingredients found in cosmetics that can be toxic in high amounts, but it's the percentage that makes the toxin, not the ingredient itself. Even water can be toxic in really high amounts, so it really is the percentage that makes the poison, not the ingredient itself. So the term natural has been heavily abused by companies as a marketing tactic. Have you ever heard of the term greenwashing? This is when companies use words like natural, green, clean, non-toxic to make their customers think that their products are safer than others. But if you take a look at their ingredients, their the product probably contains just as many synthetic ingredients as the product next to it. The company may also use fear-based tactics to make you think that other people's products are more dangerous, so you are more likely to buy their products. This is fear-mongering. It's making people think that chemicals aren't good for you and that they're dangerous. And this can't be any farther from the truth. Chemicals are absolutely amazing. They're everywhere you look. You're made up of chemicals. You're constantly eating chemicals. There's no escaping chemicals. So pushing the ideal that chemicals are bad for you is not accurate whatsoever. It's fear mongering and it's misinformation and it's pushing a mindset that is completely inaccurate. So if you're still wanting to stick with natural products, well, you're still kind of out of luck because there is no regulated term for natural. Any company can put natural on their products legally. It doesn't matter. Their products can be full of synthetic ingredients, but just because they have 5% sunflower seed oil, 
they'll market it as natural. As of right now, the FDA has left it up to the manufacturer to determine what natural means to them. So you can't just simply pick up a product and trust that it's natural because the label says so. As of right now, you need to read the ingredients and do your own research to figure out if it fits in with your ideals of natural because everybody has a different perspective on what natural means. I am I guarantee mine is completely different than yours and yours isn't the same as somebody else's. So just looking at a label and it's saying natural, you can't really rely that that's going to resonate with your ideals of natural. Because remember, companies capitalize on the terms natural, green, non-toxic, and clean they know that this is what consumers are looking for, so this is what they're pushing with their product. So since it's up to you to decide if a product labeled as natural fits in with your ideals, unfortunately that means you need to read the ingredient labels and do the research yourself. But let's be honest, this is not possible for the average person. It, it, it takes a long time to research ingredients and really make sure you're getting a uh, you know an unbiased opinion on the ingredient, especially when you can easily Google an ingredient. But most likely what's gonna pop up are a lot of these blogs made by people who are pushing these fear-mongering based ideals. So it's very difficult to do so. As of right now, you're kind of out of luck, but maybe not for much longer. There is a bill that was put in place November 15th, 2009. There was a bill put in place issued to Congress called the Natural Cosmetic Act. So it was issued by Sean Maloney and Grace Meng. Here are their names if I pronounce them wrong. So the definition of natural that they want to set in place is the following. Any chemical substance that is naturally occurring and which is unprocessed, processed only by manual, mechanical, naturally derived solvent, or gravitational means, by dissolution in water or steam, by flotation, or by heating solely to remove water, or extracted by air by any means. So this will actually be the first update to cosmetic laws in 80 years. I seriously cannot wait for this bill to be put in place. That way we all can come to just the same understanding of what the heck natural is. I can't say how many times I've gotten a comment from somebody on one of my YouTube videos complaining that I'm using too many chemicals in the recipe and that they want to use natural ingredients. When I do know I work with synthetic ingredients here on my YouTube channel, I use synthetic preservatives all the time and a couple other synthetic ingredients because I'm cool with it. But in that video that they commented on, I used like all natural ingredients except for my preservative because I stick with synthetic preservatives. But they're still complaining that it's not natural even though I used natural ingredients, at least ones that resonate with my ideals of natural, but since their ideals of natural are different, it doesn't work. So I just really can't wait till we can just have a legal definition of what the heck natural is. So I will link down in my description box to my sources on where I found this information about the Natural Cosmetic Act. I will also link to the bill itself so you can read all about it if you would like. Now what I want to talk about is um, my company, Tara Lee. If you didn't know, I sell skincare products over on Etsy. When I first started my business back in 2016, uh, I was one of those people who were scared of chemicals. I only wanted to use ingredients that I could pronounce and I was completely brainwashed by the fear-mongering misinformation that was out there. So when I first started, I was all about natural. That's why my brand was Terribly Natural. But somewhere around maybe 2018, I could be completely wrong, this is when my ideals were tested. And uh, I came to the conclusion that natural isn't always better. Synthetic can be just as safe and sometimes better. And at this time I didn't really know what to do because my whole brand was built up on the idea that it was natural. So I didn't really know what to do <laughs> at this time. I, I did slowly start to stray away from the words like natural and non-toxic, but obviously the word natural was still my business name. And at the time I just kind of just kept it there. Over the years I really thought long and hard about ditching that name. I really honestly hated it. I never wanted to be accused for greenwashing or pushing fear-mongering based misinformation. And I just didn't feel comfortable using the term natural since there was no legal definition of it. There would be some people who would agree with uh, me that my products were natural, but then there'd be other people out there who didn't. So it was a really hard struggle for a while. So about a few months ago, I don't know if you guys noticed, I changed my Etsy name to Tara Lee Skincare. I also changed my Instagram name to Tara Lee Skincare. And I also got rid of all the words natural and non-toxic that 
were used any place else, at least I hope I did, I hope I erased all of them. There might still be some out there because I could have missed them. As of right now, my labels still have the words non-toxic and natural on them. It's like really small in the corner on the back of the label. And as I use up my labels, I'm obviously going to get rid of those words. So this was a huge switch. I don't know if anybody noticed it, but it was definitely something that I needed to do, not only for myself, but also to prepare for the Natural Cosmetic Act that's going to be put in place. Because until it's put in place, we don't really know exactly what's going to be approved as a natural cosmetic. There may be like, you know, back and forth between the bill to figure out what the actual definition is going to be. I don't really know. I don't know how bills work when they're put in place. But I'm getting rid of the term natural, and I'm also getting rid of the term toxic because that is just fear-mongering. Obviously, I won't use the words clean or green because that's just all fear-mongering based. So if you own a business yourself, you may want to prepare for this. Obviously, you don't have to get rid of the words natural right now because I know a lot of people use the word natural in their business name like I did. As of right now, you're fine to use it legally, but once the bill is put into place, you obviously are going to have to make sure you are following those regulations. Overall, it is truly up to you if you wanna keep using the word natural because as of right now, there is no legal definition, but it is important to prepare in case the act does get put into place. But I really cannot wait until this bill is put in place because it is going to make life a heck of a lot easier. And all these companies who are capitalizing on the word natural will finally have to sort everything out, hopefully. There's already a lot of companies out there who do things that don't get in trouble for it when they deserve to get in trouble for it, but they don't. But that's not what this video is about right now. <laughs> now, of course, there's still the issue of people using the words clean, non-toxic, and green, but I guess we will um, deal with that another time. As of right now, we need to get this whole natural thing figured out. But also remember that just because something is natural, it doesn't make it safer for you than something that is synthetic. That is basically everything I wanted to say. I've been wanting to do a video like this for quite some time. I just never really got around to it. First off, I wanted to wait until my brand was switched over from Terry Lee Naturals to Terry Lee Skincare. So I had to wait to do that, which that was scary to do because I thought more people would notice, but nobody did, which makes me think like, are people not paying attention to me? And then when I seen this Natural Cosmetic Act being put in place, I seen it like four or five months ago, I believe. I was like, holy freaking crap. I need to let all my subscribers know about this. But I don't know, I don't know. I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back and I never recorded it. But I finally decided to record it today. So I hope this was enlightening for you. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, talk to you later. Stardust Bath & Body, Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, KAJ Bath & Body, Blue Men's Soaps, Salt Air Label, Linny's Beauty, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, Danny Botanicals, Hempy Girl, Brie Maquillage, Alchemy and Clay, Bible Belt Boutique, London Latris, Naturally Flawless, Beauty by Riza, Be Job Spa, and Facial Daily Rituals over on Instagram. Also, if you didn't know, I sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll have my Etsy shop linked down in the description box, along with all my lovely patrons. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself with